Hi, I'm Kyle Lesher, and welcome to another edition of Spring Sports Weekly Wrap-Up. Uh, this week, and as always, I'm joined with softball head coach Matt Fishburne. How are you doing? Good. Uh, you guys are now 17-5 and five overall, 6-1 and one in the Mac Blue. How have you guys been able to tie up Lance Cruz for first place in the division? Well, we beat them last week, and uh, we're both currently 6-1. and one. So uh, they won yesterday, we won, and it's tied up, and we'll see what happens the next two weeks. Now, how have your seniors been doing, and is there any players on your team that early on you didn't really expect to do that well, but have really stepped up? As far as seniors go, we have three, and they've all performed very well so far. Lacey Trelfa is our starting catcher, doing a heck of a job back there. She's hitting 415. Caitlin Thayer, our starting center fielder, is hitting 403. And uh, Brianna Opaluski is hitting 577. So all three of them have been doing their part. And as far as uh, anybody else stepping up, uh, you know, just all the rest of the team has stepped up. And that, that's why we're in the situation we're in. Everybody's contributing and just hope that everybody you know, continues to contribute the rest of the season. On Wednesday, May 9th, you'll go up against 0-7 Cusno. Sometimes it's tough for teams to go up against somebody and look, look beyond them. Um, how are you keeping your team focused? Well, we, we always say that you know, on any given day, anybody can beat anybody. And uh, you know, it would be a shame if we didn't show up to play and uh, lose, a, lose a game like that. But uh, you know, Cusno's record is uh, they're a better team than their record. And uh, we must come ready to play today and uh, find a way to win. We're, we're hurting on arms right now. Our pitchers are all hurting, but we got to find a way to get by today and uh, get a win. So hopefully we do that. Well, good luck to you today. Thank you. Now let's send it to the El Charo's Player of the Week. What's up, everybody? David Corbett here with this week's El Charo Student of the Week. Every week, with the help of our sponsor, El Charo, we're able to give away one $10 gift card to El Charo to one lucky student in the school. This week's nominees are Annabelle Westerfield in second grade, Allison Short, Jackie Rodriguez, Brianna Opalowski, Lacey Trelfa, Faith Geneva, Sean Severs, Erica Klosky, Lindsay, Lindsay Mogileski, and Phillips Edmund, Edmund Phillips. This week's winner is Lacey Trelfa. Let's go catch up with her right now. Here you see Andrew Sokolowski giving Lacey her award. El Charo, experience the essence of Mexico. Where kids eat free every Sunday, and where the true Mexican cuisine meets your American family. Now with live music on their spacious outdoor patio, El Charo has four locations to better serve you. In St. Clair Shores, Frazier, Macomb Township, and Troy. Experience the essence of Mexico at El Charo, elcharousa.com. Hi, welcome to Spring Sports Weekly Wrap-Up. I'm here with Taylor Jalikowski, and I'm Mitchell Spadafore. I'm going to be asking Taylor about how the Fraser Varsity baseball season is going this year. And uh, how are you doing, Taylor? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, how's the season going so far? Oh, we're good. We're almost 500, so we need to kind of step it up in that aspect. But we just need to come together and uh -huh. play as a team. Uh, you're 8-9 right now and 4-2 and in the division, and you're two games behind Marine City. What does the team need to do to get into first place? Well, we need a little bit of luck. We need Cousineau to beat them first off, and then we have to beat Cousineau and Marine City. So, uh -huh. yeah, we just got to kind of get some luck. Uh, as everyone knows, you're committed to Madonna. What are you looking forward to the most about going there? I'm just playing higher caliber baseball and meeting all my new friends and teammates and living on campus, campus life, I guess. All right. Thank you, Taylor. On Tuesday, May 8th, the Varsity Girls tennis team competed well in the Mac Blue Tournament, coming up a point away from first place. Melissa Mertz and Shannon Doran were champions in doubles, while Amanda Federa and Summer McMillan were champs in the fourth flight doubles division. Megan Furzo was the singles champion. 
Congrats, ladies. Now here's Mike Adamo with the weather. Mike? Hello, Frazier. This is Mike Adamo, your weatherman, looking at the weather for the week of May 14th through May 18th. On Monday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 72, a low of 53, and a 10% chance of rain. On Tuesday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 72, a low of 56, and a 10% 10, 10 chance of rain. On Wednesday, once again, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 73, a low of 57, and a 10% chance of rain. On Thursday, it's going to be partly cloudy once again with a high of 72, a low of 55, and a 0% chance of rain. And on Friday, Five times a charm, partly cloudy with a high of 74, a low of 56, and a 0% chance of rain. And I'm Mike Adamo, your weatherman, uh, looking at the week of May 14th through May 18th.